uh, uh, Joe Cohen from uh, Mission Damage People, and I just wanted to see if we could uh, tell us a little bit about what, what you do for the Amish and, uh, and, uh, and uh, your ministry, how you, what, what you see, uh, uh, how, how the, the attitudes or whatever are towards the group. Uh, from the Amish and how that has changed over the years and whatever? Well, a lot of Amish people are leaving these days compared to 20 years ago. Uh, you may have had a few here and there that were leaving, but now, uh, today, there are uh, probably close to three to 400 of them leaving every year. And many of them are young and Usually uh, right around the age of 17 is when they begin to start thinking about leaving because that's the time they start joining church and rather than become members of the Amish church, they, they, they want to get out and, and uh, be free and, and not put themselves under that bondage. And uh, so uh, after they leave, what, uh, how, how, what kind of uh, struggles do, do most of them have? Uh, Many of them come out and they need social security numbers and you know they need jobs. They want to get rid of their Amish clothes and they want to put on street clothes. And uh, though those are some of the, the, the things, the, the immediate needs, the things they struggle with are probably some of the things they struggle with is authority. You know, they come out from underneath all that religion and, and bondage and and um, the first thing they want to do is come free and not be under anybody's authority. And so I want help, but don't get too close. Don't tell me what to do or, or else uh, I will, you know, get upset at, you know, Adam and, and, and leave. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, in certain situations like that, what, uh, how, how would you best handle, uh, help them if they don't, if they're refusing to help? Well, they don't refuse help, you know, but you help them with what they want help with. You don't go beyond what they're asking. If they if they need help, they'll let you know. And if there's a if there's a season of time that they don't need you, then you let them go. Sometimes you have to stand there and watch them bruise their noses, you know, they fall on their faces, and, they, and then they need help to get back up, and, and that's when you can, you know, move in and, and help out. But, uh, you know, uh, they, they want to be free, they want to be who they are, and they don't like for somebody to, to tell them how to live, or how to do things, or when to do it, or where to do it, you know, they want to be free, just like everybody. Yeah, So, uh, how long does that normally last? I mean, like uh, three years. <laughs> you, you probably try to do crazy on that. <laughs> <laughs> it takes three years for an Amish person to find out who they are in the new culture. And, and kind of assimilate into, yeah. into, into it. Yeah. Yeah, it takes, uh, you know, and it doesn't matter whether they're 18 years old or 50 years old. When they leave that culture and they come out here, they have to find new identity. They have to figure out, how do I fit in life? They, they kind of knew that where they come from, but now they're in a strange society and they need to once again start over from the bottom, figure out who they are, what their purpose is in life, and that usually takes about three years. And during this three-year period, uh, a lot of times they will buck all authority, and they don't, uh, uh, you know, they they, they 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 want your help, but only when they need it. You know, don't tell me something I don't need. <laughs> I, can, I can see that. Um, so, how many people do you, do you get to help uh, every year? I mean, you said uh, that's three to four hundred are leaving, but I mean, more in the local area, what, how many people do you get? Locally, to? yeah, probably about 30, 
30 to 50 a year. That, that would be a high number. But yeah, yeah it depends. I mean, certain times of the year, you might have 10 of them leave in, in a one month period. And there might be a couple months when nobody leaves. And it seems like most of them leave in the springtime and again in the fall. Okay. And, uh, but we help a lot of young people from other states, you know, just like this morning got a call from uh, Illinois. A young man wants to leave, needs a social security number. And um, so we got a call, you know, from someone out there asking what steps they they need to take. Uh, we had just had a call from somebody in Michigan where a whole family left, and and none of them had social security numbers, and they they needed their driver's licenses, they needed all of the things that are very common to society out here. But uh, so you know, we if you count all of them. I, I, I wouldn't even know. We help a lot of people out every, every month. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Thank you. Ah!